हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस रेक्टिफिकेशन ऑफ द कर्व्स गिवन इन देयर पैरामेट्रिक फॉर्म फॉर एग्जांपल एक्स इज इक्वल टू एफ वन टी एंड वाई इज इक्वल टू एफ टू टी सो लेटेस्ट रिकॉल हाउ टू फाइंड लेंथ ऑफ द कर्व गिवन इन इट्स पैरामेट्रिक फॉर्म अज्यूम द पैरामेट्रिक फॉर्म ऑफ द कर्व इज एक्स इज इक्वल टू एफ वन टी एंड वाई इज इक्वल टू एफ टू टी देन its length is given by integral of under root dx by dt the whole square plus dy by dt the whole square dt over the limit t1 to t2 now let us see examples on this here we are asked to find length of the curve given by x is equal to a into 2 cos t minus cos 2t and y is equal to a into 2 sin t Minus sine two t from t is equal to zero to point t one. So let us first note down these parametric equations of the curve, and then we find out their derivatives. So dx by dt will be a into two as it is. Derivative of cos t is minus sine t, and derivative of minus cos two t is. 2 sin 2t. Similarly, derivative of y with respect to t will be a into 2 into derivative of sin t is cos t, and derivative of minus sin 2t is minus 2 cos 2t. Now we assume s is the required length of the curve from t is equal to 0 to t1. Then s is given by integral of Under root dx by dt square plus dy by dt square dt over the limit zero to t one. Now let us substitute values of dx by dt and dy by dt over here. So we get this statement. Now here I see this a square and this a square are common terms, so you can take them out. Similarly, this two and two is a common term. You can take it out. Same as here. so we have 2 square a square outside this bracket and inside we have minus sin t plus sin 2t its square is given by sin square t minus 2 sin t sin 2t plus sin square 2t similarly over here this 2a whole square becomes 2 square a square and square of cos t minus cos 2t is cos square t minus 2 cos t cos 2t plus cos square 2t now we take out this 2 square a square as these terms are common here so we have 2a outside this root sign and inside we have sin square t plus cos square t which is nothing but 1 similarly sin square 2t plus cos square 2t which is again 1 so 1 plus 1 we have 2 we will write it over here now we are left with Minus two sin t sin two t and minus two cos t cos two t. This two and this two is common. We will take it out. So inside the bracket we will have sin t sin two t plus cos t cos two t. This is like sin a sin b plus cos a cos b, which is nothing but trigonometric identity of cos a minus b. So we get. cos of 2t minus t now this cos of 2t minus t is just cos t let us take out this common 2 so we will be left with 1 minus cos t which is nothing but 2 sin square t by 2 now this 2 into this 2 is 4 so under root of 4 is 2 you can take it out so we will be left with 2 into 2 that is 4a Into under root of sine square t by two, which is nothing but sine t by two. This four a is a constant term. Then integral of sine t by two dt is minus cos t by two upon one by two over the limit zero to t one. Now let us substitute these limits in t. This one upon one by two can be written as two. So two into four a is eight a. After substituting upper limit in t, we get minus cos t one by two. 
then minus into this minus becomes plus. Now substituting lower limit 0 in t, we have cos 0 which is 1. Now once again we have 1 minus cos theta like term which can be written as 2 sin square theta by 2 that is 2 sin square t1 by 4 here. This 2 into 8a becomes 16a into sin square t1 by 4. This is length of the curve from point t is equal to 0 to t1. I hope you understood all the steps involved in this solution. Now let me show you one more example of similar type. Here we are asked to find length of the arc of the cycloid given by parametric equations x is equal to a into theta minus sin theta and y is equal to a into 1 plus cos theta from point theta is equal to 0 to 2 pi. Let us first note down the parametric equations of the curve that is x is equal to a into theta minus sin theta and y is equal to a into 1 plus cos theta. Now we differentiate these with respect to theta. We get dx by d theta is equal to a into 1 minus derivative of sin theta is cos theta and dy by d theta is equal to a into derivative of 1 is 0 and derivative of cos theta is minus sin theta. Now we assume s be the length of the curve from theta is equal to 0 to 2 pi then s is given by integral of under root dx by d theta square plus dy by d theta square d theta over the limit 0 to 2 pi. Now let us substitute values of dx by d theta and dy by d theta over here. So we have integral of under root of a into 1 minus cos theta square plus minus a sin theta square d theta. This will be a square. Similarly, this minus a square will be just a square. Now, 1 minus cos theta square can be written as 1 minus 2 into cos theta plus cos square theta and sin theta whole square can be written as sin square theta. Cos square theta plus sin square theta is 1. So we have 1 plus 1 as 2. Now we have 2 and 2 is a common term. Let us take it out. So we have 2 into bracket 1 minus cos theta. But 1 minus cos theta is 2 sin square theta by 2. Now this 2 into 2 is 4 and under root of 4 is 2. So we have 2a outside the under root sign and inside the under root we have sin square theta by 2. So this under root and this square will get cancelled so we will be left with only sin theta by 2. So s is integral of 2a into sin theta by 2 d theta over the limit 0 to 2 pi. Now 2a is constant term and integral of sin theta by 2 is minus cos theta by 2 upon 1 by 2 that upon 1 by 2 can be written as just 2. So we will be left with 2a into minus 2 into cos theta by 2. Now let us substitute these limits in theta. So cos of 2 pi by 2 that is cos pi is minus 1 then minus into minus plus cos of 0 is 1. So we will be left with minus 2 into minus 1 that is 2 plus 2 is 4 into 2a is 8a. So 8a is the required length of the curve given by these parametric equations. I hope guys you understood how to find out length of the curve given in its parametric form. In my next video we will see how to find out length of the curve given in the form r is equal to f of theta. Till then keep watching my videos. Thank you all of you. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos.